Hey guys, Tichi here, and it's part 22 of my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, yeah, last episode we said goodbye to Shadia, gave her a proper farewell, helped out with her parents, whose names I forget off the top of my head already. It's only been like a day since I recorded that. <laughs> but yeah, this episode, well, we have quite a bit to do, which will probably take this episode the next. But first off, I want to go after. Ra's mercy. Are they granted whether or not we go after him now or later? It comes down to whether or not he wants to move out of that base. Or outpost even. Because while I was messing around off screen, I realised that outpost had skulls and I was at level 32. Now I'm level 33, so I don't know whether or not I can still see the level or not, but you get the point. If he doesn't move, I'm going to have to be leaving for later. If he does start moving though, that's good at least, because then he's not going to have people around him. <laughs> yeah, if we have to do over the next ep this episode and most likely next as well. Two fire lakes, two side quests that I was randomly given while I was uh, exploring. Uh, the seven farmer side quests and also two teams. Like if I stand still, is he moving? Yeah, he is. He's moving out, so... He's definitely leaving the base. That's a good sign. Just avoid you guys. God damn it. Of course, bandits. Fuck off. You're not catching me. Question is, whereabouts is this fight lake going? Clear off. What are you playing at? So he's definitely out of the base. He's there, so he's not long left, but he should be far enough that he doesn't trigger any sort of help. Alright, calm down. Whoa. I mean, granted I do want to kind of get the drop on him. Yeah. The fact he's moving like that fast as well, I'm assuming he's got him out. No, he says, fuck off. If he's running, that'd be like really weird, to be honest. How far out has he gone? He's just made it to the main road and he's now going towards that village. Okay. So ideally, since I have poison darts now, I want to try hitting with one of those first. Yes, I know the fight lake's near game. I am chasing him. God damn it. Couldn't it jump the actual bridge gap horse. Number five, I think, maybe six. Legendary Dill Swords, I'll take it. I was waiting to get a pair of those. Granted, I don't use them on camera that often, but I will take it. Uh. Okay, so that's one Fire Lake down. Now, on to the next one, which is in Crocodopolis. All the way up there, so probably best to go here, meet him halfway. Is 
yeah, I'm going to try and get the Sly Lakes and at least the Tombs in this episode and maybe start one of the side quests. Like, these are two side quests I just got randomly given without even talking to anyone. Like, just from entering, like, question mark areas. Okay. Now to Mark. Okay, now he's down here, for fuck's sake. It's better than that than being in the... the Stronghold, at least. Okay, you probably got that for poison. Like, literally just before this, I upgraded my main sword to my level, just to make sure. Okay, where is he? Come on, still with you, huh? Oh god, I probably want to just confirm the kill and go. Work together. Yep. Yeah. Same as the first. How Another key, huh? Oh. No, there's multiple of them firing at me, so probably best to just try leave. Or they leave where I don't know. I'm kind of a tough predicament in terms of where to go. Ow! Out the way, out the way, out the way. Bitch! Die! The horse died at least, I think. Because the horse caught on fire. Probably not. Can I just fast travel, please? Uh, Of course. Bye, bitch. Whoa. Right, I'm out of the encounter, thank god. Okay, now to deal with the teams. <laughs> Fast travel there. Ugh. Yeah, I believe that's six now that's down. Might be wrong. Yeah, I'll quickly check once we've loaded in. Do, do, do. Finally got a legendary shield, by the way, off screen. Not too keen on the design, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah. Nah, first of all, swap the gear thing around. Head splitter. Eh, decent. Inventory, got a second key. And two of them. Uh, quest, Fire Lake Spray. How many have we done? Six. Yeah, decent. Over halfway with that now. Anyway, before we do anything else, well, I mean, like, quest wise, we have two teams to explore. Whee!
believe the entrance to this one's actually lower than the actual pyramid. It's right here, if I remember correctly. Okay. Let's find out what the puzzle is for this tune. Also be wary of snakes. Oh, like this. Essentially the more I can light up the better. Is this what I think it is? Yeah it is. I want to know what these are for because I've come across a few of them now and like... It's listed them under like the crafting item stuff but... Nothing's required them for crafting so I'm a bit confused as to what they're actually for. Ooh. Wait. <coughs> Got some arrows out of that. Okay, <laughs> nothing that way. The only thing to go for is straight. I'm just trying to be really wary of snakes because they're going to be hard to fucking see in here. Like that. Like the second one. I see two holes. I wonder if that's got any significance. Hmm. Break all the seals connected to the sealed door to open it. Got it. That's that. Do not break the seal or the sands of time will consume you. Huh. Oh. I don't know why I'm crouched. Okay, there's the one. Okay, got out. that. Quickly break this. <laughs> hmm. Never touch. Another one of these things. Oh, what's on this? Okay, crocodiles. Fun. That a Damn it, that didn't work. Damn it. Shit. Uh, yeah, probably want to swap for that. Probably want to run? Let my health recharge a bit before I carry on fighting these two. Come on health, do you want to recharge? At some point? Thank God. Oh, 
I want to say that's it. Let me like this. Can I not like that? What if I do this? There we go. The first time coming across crocodiles in one of these, I'll say that much. Oh, fuck off. Oh, arrows. That's helpful. I've got my poison darts back. Is there any other torches to light up around here or not? Wow, did I really kill the three of them there? I was wondering where one of them went. Okay, so straight ahead, I'm guessing. Maybe not. Am I gonna have to dive under the water? Okay, that's locked off as well. I'm assuming the other side is. Granted, I'm gonna check, but oh well. I know this one isn't. <coughs> I don't know, that's because there was crocodiles. I weren't expecting crocodiles in a tomb. Don't tell me there's another water bath. I know, this is like, roof. Good. Last thing I need is another fight like that. <laughs> Question is though, where do I go from here? Hmm. Does this have anything? Uh, I wonder if it's the climb off. Oh. No, nothing on the wall here. It's like a roof. Huh. Unless it's like I come up here to dive down? Alright, that made more sense. Let me just swim normally. I swear to god if there's any crocodiles down. Yeah, that's a fucking bull lake. Interesting that it's underwater. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. Okay, I'm gonna swim up now because I'm assuming. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Question is, how do I get out? Considering I came up against him, he looks climbable. I'm guessing up the statue. Okay. Yeah, I see a movable thing. There we go. Voila. Okay, now where did we come out? Over there. Now I need to fast travel possibly to here would be the quickest. <coughs> I know I've got two ability points now because I've got one from getting to level 33 plus that one I just got for the team but I want to try to get one of the three point ones so we'll use that next with this team. Having children was one way of conquering death as a... Wait, what was that? Would look after the parents too. Oh. I guess? Question mark? Alright. Boss! Where is you at? There you are. Huh? 
Okay, let's head over to this tomb. Because there's like a glowing question mark, but I can't get it because of how un far underground it is. So I'm assuming it's in the middle of that tomb. There's a glowing question mark over there as well. That's gonna bug me. Don't want to go into that building. Fuck you, leopard. <coughs> or lion, one or the other. I don't see spots, so I'm assuming leopard. Alright, come on. You wanna go as well, whoever? What's there? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Dismount, horse, stay here. Beware all who would enter for here lies Smeka. Living are the forms of Ray. Okay. Hmm. Two ways, huh? What's down there? Water. Okay. I can already tell this is going to be a maze. The fuck is that? The sarcophagus. <laughs> like this, I can notice somehow. Not this one. The I was more distracted with like what was down there. I'm assuming that down there's the way to go. Yeah. This place is just creeping me out with the sarcophaguses. I'm expecting like one of them to come popping out. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the way to go is down into the water. Thank you for that. Okay. Down here then. Mm. Not really anything of interest. Then there's a stair here. I'm assuming now this is where I go up. Oh, it's back. Just back the way I came. It's like a different path. Yeah, the weight puzzle. Okay. First of all, is there any more torches I can light around here? Is the my question? Alright, so that's what that's affecting. <laughs> so it looks like I need to move that somehow. Or 
Well, I need to counterweight it, but I don't really know what. Okay, that works somehow. Oh god, what's in this direction? Oh, one of those. Whenever I see a rope <laughs> and like it's not lit up properly, I'm keep assuming it's a fucking snake. Damn it! Alright, I see what I have to do though now. It's like literally it's not even a case of finding something to weight down, it's just I've gotta be quick in terms of getting around. Okay, what's up here? Nothing I can get to. Alright, so now what to do, I've just gotta wait down, run. Okay. Question is, do I need to weigh this one all the way down? Yeah, it is. Damn it! Alright. Well, we know what to do at least for this one. I wonder if I'm jumping off too early is the why it's like not doing it right. Cause like that one I'm doing fine. Damn it. Uh, like there's nothing else to do other than like timing the jump. Like, I can't really do much else other than what I'm already doing. There we go, finally jump for it. Why is this lit up actually? Is my question. What level are you? I can't use Senu either. Hmm. That's not to draw attention here. Yeah. Anyone check on him? No, they didn't. Bye, bitch. Yeah, there is one more. Where are you hiding, you rat? Let you on fire, hopefully. Oh yeah, granted, I do outnumber this guy in terms of level. No, fuck it. Why is his bow glowing? Third day of McKee. Okay, grab that, grab this. Let's get that in a second. Grab the ability point first. Ancient writing okay. from the old kingdom. Yep. So wait, what direction is this? Yeah, this is where the question mark is. What's through here?
Yeah. There you go, stack it to act. Activate the ancient mechanism. What? How do I do that exactly? I'm gonna throw that down and assume that's water. <laughs> yep. To be fair, now that I think about it, why would it even be giving me the option if it wasn't? So, what exactly is down here? Ah, uh, shit, I see like Eden scrolls. That weren't what I was going for, I was going for the, the gem. Retransmission, segment four. Acquiring contemporaneity. Uh, what? It has been 99 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Okay. On the 21st day of December 2012, Desmond yeah. activated the global Aurora Borealis device and protected the Earth from the sun's deadly coronal mass ejection. Yes. On the 21st day of December 2012, humanity carried on without a care in the world. People went to work, people went to school, and people went to the well for water. Uh-huh. On the night of December 21st, 2012, as the sun set on their days, Mm -hmm. Humankind went to bed. Then on the morning of December 22nd, 2012, humankind was graced with yet another morning. They never knew that on the previous day, the world almost ended. No, they didn't. We thought that would have been. So yeah, this is on about like the present the present day stuff of Assassin's Creed Enough. 3. So yeah, spoiler, Desmond dies. And it was, until it wasn't. Wait, what? Time is unyielding. It always corrects itself. Uh-huh. The language of time works in many ways, two of which you can understand, as you are now. I bet this weird like particle effect for me every time I step on the circle. Variations. Within the linear continuity, there are nodes, choke points, moments where algorithms converge the flows of superposed possibilities to a single moment uh -huh. where only one absolute truth is possible. Huh. Paths are fluid. Okay. Continuous. Why do breaks for a single word? Nose are static. Changeless. Uh huh. And the wave function collapses the paths into nodes which branch out. Again and again. And again. Okay. And so I wonder can you feel the wave collapsing? Trying to course correct Desmond's act of defiance? Huh. The incoming node needs the world to end. Okay. The algorithms have been carving the flow of possibilities towards that end for over 100 years now. Huh. Feel. Uh. Spell. Uh, what? A labyrinth of trenches, filled with mud and mustard gas. Uh-huh. Families <coughs> cowering in fear as V2s vaporize their dwellings. Okay. Fire born from the bellows of the Los Alamos laboratory, fueling global catastrophes. This is really weird. The Serpikov 15 incident of 1983. The Doomsday Clock, tucked away in an office at the University of Chicago. It's needle moving as the years go. Okay. Your point is? The node is near. 
Perhaps you knew. Perhaps you felt it too. Why can't they just carry on speaking and not take like moments to just breathe? But the world is closing in on you. Yeah, uh, can you you done yet? You're done. What happens if I interact with it again? Does it just start? Retransmission. Again? Segment four. Acquiring contemporaneity. You just restart it. It has been 99 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Mm -hmm. On the 21st day of December yeah, 2012, thing. Desmond activated the global war. Exit! That was freaky as fuck. Hmm. Weren't expecting that from a team. What was the actual icon for that? It's the same as the regular teams. Huh. Okay, gear. Uh, melee. I feel like he's three points. This is the one I wanted to go for, the chain assassination, just because that looks like it'd be handy. Okay. Okay, so there is a glowing question mark over here. I kind of want to see what it is before I do anything else. Uh, let me just see what's around. This is the seven farmers thing, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, so we'll quickly open up this area, grab this question mark before we call it an end. Well, I say grab the question mark. If it's a team, I'm probably going to leave it for another time. <laughs> Ugh. Weren't expecting to, weren't expecting that to go on as long as it did. Again, no, it didn't help. They kept taking like moments to just like breathe between sentences. Like, obviously, breathe between sentences, but don't take like a five-second gap. Is any random boat gonna come near me? I doubt it. The closest one is over there. Or does that? I could have grabbed that one. Jesus Christ. Where the fuck did you come from? I mean, granted, give me the fucking boat, but still. Like, you just literally spawned out of nowhere. Uh, I believe there's like still one area after this one before the bottom of the map. Okay. Why are you climbing awkwardly, by Ek? There we go. You don't need to climb so awkwardly for like a riverbank. Let me quickly see what this is. You have a gnome. I see stones. Stone circle! Let's do it. We'll end the episode on this. First of all, make sure there's no one else here. I don't trust this area. Right, there's no animals, it looks like. Okay, we're good. Stone circle, align the stars. Ooh, this is a bit of an odd shape. It's be an interesting one to find. We've got like a... That one's not it. That's not it. That's a simple one there. Those are the scales, called Konsu. When we die, the goddess no, Ma'at weighs our hearts on them against her white feather. Remember this? If our hearts appear in light, we walk in the field of reeds. Very good. No. You are listening. Why am I trying to line that up? That's like great. Scales measure truth and justice, which is why Medjai pursue these two things above all others. Mm -hmm. No, not there. Up 
for one. I assume it would have to be. Yeah. Hmm. Great, I think this is like seven. Oh, there it is. Found it. The scales. Hmm. I believe that's Stone Circle 7. So this ended up becoming a really interesting episode, I'll say that much. Okay, trying to give me my XP game, and then we'll end it there. Yep. Okay, so yeah, with that I'm going to end the episode here. We'll continue with the side quest stuff I mentioned next episode. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.